Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my current favorites because last month I didn't get up my favorites video and I knew that if I didn't do this now, then it would just be crazy because I know next month I'm gonna be doing my best of beauty for the year, which is so crazy that this year is almost over, but I have a good array of things to show you guys. I've been loving a lot of things and I did include some fashion favorites at the end. A lot of the stuff that I've just been wearing on my Instagram posts, I wanted to actually show you them in my favorites so that you get kind of a better idea of them and I will link them if possible. So if you'd like to see what I've been loving lately, then just go ahead and keep on watching. So my first favorite is Snapchat. I finally got Snapchat and I have seriously loved getting to know you guys a little bit better. I love not just getting like snaps from you guys but actually like having conversations with you guys and I got to actually ask one of my subscribers to a formal for her boyfriend which was so cool and like whenever I talked about those lashes on my Snapchat and we all just were like snapping back and forth and having fun, it's just awesome. I love getting to know you guys and I love getting your snaps every day and if you aren't following me on Snapchat then I will have it listed below with all my other social media stuff but yeah you guys are my first favorite. I have quite a few face products and this is the first one that I'm going to talk about and it is the Ultra HD Stick Foundation from Make It Forever. This is the first Make It Forever foundation that I've used and I love this stuff. I'll do two little swipes on my cheeks one on the forehead, center of the nose, and then on the chin, and that's enough to cover my whole face. And it just gives me such a beautiful finish to my skin. It doesn't look cakey or dry, and it just kind of blends out to nothing. And it looks like your skin, but it just looks like you have perfect skin. So I love this. It lasts on my skin all day. It doesn't like break up in the normal places on me. I just really love this foundation. I want to try the liquid one. So if you have tried that one, let me know what you think about like the coverage and stuff. You guys know I like full coverage, medium to full coverage, but I love like a dewy or more satin finish. So let me know on that foundation as well. This next product is a game changer if you have dark circles like I do. You guys know I have some seriously dark circles and this is amazing. You saw me use it in my last tutorial. This is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector and this is a salmon based corrector and this one is different because it has like a little bit of illuminating properties to it. You guys saw in my last tutorial you could see it just kind of gives like a sheen to the under eye. So there it is right there, like you can see, it's almost like a highlight, but whenever you put this on under your eyes, it literally just masks any kind of darkness that you have, and it helps brighten up your under eyes. So I use this, and then I'll just pat it out and then go over with my concealer, and it just makes such a huge difference. So I've really, really been loving this guy. I feel like I've talked about this in a video recently, but I've just been killing Benefits Rock Tour blush. This is one of my favorite blushes out of my whole collection. I use it all the time, but I feel like I especially use it in the fall and winter time. It's just a beautiful, like rosy toned blush. So I'll swatch it here for you guys, and it smells amazing. This blush smells so good. So there is Rock Tour there. It just gives you such a really pretty flush to the cheek. That's what I have on my cheeks right now. And like I said, I've just been using this like crazy. Another benefit product that I've been loving is the High Beam. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen me use this a ton in looks. I've been all about that glow. And I've been using this to layer with my highlighters. And I didn't really love this before. I used to use this and I like hated it the first few times. But I was like dotting it on my cheeks direct from this applicator. It looks like a nail polish whenever you open this up. So I was taking this and like brushing it on my cheeks and then it would disturb like my foundation underneath. So I did not like it before, but what I've been doing now is taking the applicator and brushing it on like the tip of a beauty blender and then applying it that way and it just looks so beautiful and it's like an intense highlight and it doesn't mess up my foundation underneath. But I've been using this and then I will go over it with my highlighters and it just gives you the most intense, beautiful glow. But you can also use this on its own like if you're just doing like a really pretty glowy look. But for me, I like to layer it. There are three highlighters that I've been using a ton recently, but this one I've been using the most. And I have this on my cheeks layered with the high beam. And this is Starlight from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This one reminds me a lot of like Moonstone from Becca. It's more of like a white champagne. So there that one is. If you are more on the fair side, then this is perfect for you. The other Anastasia highlighter that I've been loving is So Hollywood. I feel like this one is the most raved about one. It's definitely a more gold highlight. If you are super, super fair, I don't think I would suggest this one to you because it is really, really gold. But I use this to mix with Starlight and it's such a beautiful combo. So there is So Hollywood right here. You can see it's a lot more gold than Starlight. It's basically like a stark gold. This one reminds me of Gilded Honey from Laura Geller. But let me swatch them together and layer them because it is so pretty layered together. So I'll put Starlight right over So Hollywood. 
and it just kind of lightens it up a little bit. So there they are layered together. Another highlighter that I've been loving is this newer one from Gerard Cosmetics. This is in the shade Grace, and it's another one that's more of like the lighter champagne shade, and this is really, really beautiful. It definitely has some gold undertones to it. This kind of looks like the other two whenever they're mixed together. So there is So Hollywood and Starlight mixed together, and there's Grace right below it. I love these. These are so pigmented and so creamy, and I always do have discount codes for you guys from Dora Cosmetics. So definitely pick this one up if you are looking for a really pretty highlighter. Moving on to eyes, I basically only use this palette the past few weeks. This is a self-made palette from Anastasia. This is her newest one, and this one does have more shades than the other palettes that she's come out with, and I just love this. I've also heard that you can use this like in quads, so like these four, these four, and then like these ones over here, but I just kind of mix it up, and I just think it's such a perfect palette. I'm definitely gonna be taking this one whenever I travel for Christmas. My favorite shades in here are Pink Champagne, of course, Treasure and Hot and Cold, and I'll go ahead and swatch those ones for you. And Hot Chocolate is a really beautiful shade for like a transition color, but it is kind of dark as far as like transition colors go. That's my only thing about this palette. I wish it had like a lighter one, but I've just been taking my bronzer and putting that in the crease first. So there is Hot and Cold, Treasure, and then Pink Champagne on the top. I love doing Pink Champagne with my brush wet. You guys saw me do that in my last tutorial, and I just think it's absolutely stunning. So I've really been loving this palette. Another thing I've been loving for the eyes are Salon Perfect Lashes. If you follow me on Snapchat, then you know all about these. Last month I talked about the 615 lashes, which are like the more spiky ones. These are the 614s, but there are two variations in these. So if you go to get them, then definitely look through them because there's actually two different kinds. This one is like a perfect dupe for the Red Cherry number 43 lashes. They're still very natural, but they're a little bit fuller and they taper at the ends. And then this one is my favorite of the two. This one is like an Ardell Wispy, but just longer. And this one's just very PC and wispy and I just love this kind of lash. This one is kind of between like the Soho from Coco and then the Ardell Wispy. So I definitely love these lashes and you can get them at Walmart for like, I think two something. So I always stock up on these whenever I go get groceries. If you follow me on Instagram, all the lip colors that I'm going to be showing you will be no surprise because I've been wearing them to death. They're kind of all very, very similar. And I've been wearing this lip liner with all of them. This is Rock and Rose from Jordana. I love these Jordana lip pencils because you can get them at Walgreens for like, I think less than two bucks and they work great. They just twist up like this. They're super convenient to throw in your bag. So I have two of this one and this just goes with any kind of like mauve lip so beautifully or even nude lips. I've just been wearing this lip liner to death so there it is right there it's kind of a deeper um, nude it has a little bit more brown and mauve in it I don't know how to describe it it's just perfect and then two dose of colors lippies one is matte and one is a lip gloss and the matte one is stone and I have been waiting for this one for so long because I wanted it when I went to IMAX and it only came in like that trio then and then I just kind of put it off getting it forever and I finally got my hands on it and I don't know why I waited so long because this is the perfect lip color like if I could only pick one I think it would be this one it is so pretty it's like a dusty rosy mauve because mauves usually show up so dark on my lips and they never look like they do in the tube this one looks like it does in the tube and that makes me so happy I love 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 this and then their rose lip gloss. This is so pigmented and so creamy. I love the formula of their lip glosses. They're not super sticky or tacky and it stays on my lips all day. This is basically the same color as stone lipstick, but in a lip gloss form. And you guys know I love shiny lips. So here is rose gloss right next to it. So there is stone liquid lipstick and then rose, both from Dose of Colors. Another liquid lipstick that I've just been wearing to death, this is literally like halfway gone already, is Ecstasy from Dry Cosmetics. This is one of their Hydromats. I love the formula of these so much. They're just really smooth and creamy and they don't dry out my lips like crazy. I have very dry lips, you guys know this, and this doesn't dry out my lips. And the color is just so beautiful. It's like a purpley, mauve gray. I don't know how else to describe it. It's darker than stone for sure and it looks so beautiful on the lips. I don't know, I just think it's such a unique color. So there's Ecstasy right there compared to Stone. It's definitely darker, has a lot more gray and purple in it. 
My last lipstick is in the same family. This is one of the NYX High Voltage lipsticks. This is in the shade Flutter Kiss. I love this lipstick so much that I will say wear a lip liner with it. This is a very creamy lipstick and it doesn't stay on the lips like a crazy long amount of time, but I don't really care because I can just reapply it. It's really easy to reapply, but definitely wear a lip liner with it because it will bleed all over the place if you don't. But it makes it worth it whenever you see the color. Like, look how pretty that color is. It is such a beautiful, like, everyday mauve lip color. I've just been wearing this all the time. I'll just throw it in my purse, and it's easy and simple, and I can just take this anywhere with me. So I definitely want to pick up more of these. If you love these, too, then let me know your favorite shade in these NYX High Voltage Lipsticks. I have two skincare products to share with you guys, and they're both from The Blissful Body. You guys have heard me talk about The Blissful Body before. I just adore her. She is so sweet, and her products are phenomenal. I loved her products before I even knew about her, so that kind of speaks to it, that I just loved her products. And then when I found out more about her, I just fell in love with them even more. The first one is this Miracle Beauty Oil and Serum. And this just works wonders on my skin, especially if you have dry skin, you need this in your life. This is an oil that does doesn't leave your skin feeling greasy at all. I've used the Josie Marin Argan Oil for years and this has definitely replaced it because when I put the Argan Oil on, it does take a little bit longer to set into my skin. This, literally, my skin will just drink it up immediately and then my skin just looks more hydrated and radiant and I can use this in the morning. I never use the Argan Oil in the morning because I felt like it was just a little bit too heavy, but this one I can just apply right before I put my moisturizer on in the morning and my skin feels hydrated but it's not greasy. So I absolutely love this. I've seen such a big difference in my skin with this. The other product from Blissful Body is her body butter. I know I've talked about this before, but this stuff is amazing, especially since we're going into those drier months. You guys need to try this out because it will save your skin. Like I have had such dry skin, like dry patches on my arms and stuff. And once I started using this again, it just saved my skin from being so dry and flaky and just gross. And this smells so good. I have mine in the lemon buttercream scent. It's just nice and sweet, but not overly sweet. And this is just like that body oil. Like it just sinks into my skin so quickly. It doesn't leave you oily. You guys know I don't really care to feel oily because I usually use like a body oil at nighttime. But this doesn't feel oily on my skin at all. It literally just sinks into my skin and my skin feels softer instantly. So I definitely love this. And a thing that I love about her products too, like a profit of it goes to women's ministries. And I mean, she does this all on her own, which I really, really appreciate because my businesses I do on my own and she just does this out of her house and with love so definitely try out her products I will have both of them listed below I have one hair product to share you guys and this is a Kenra dry texture spray this stuff is amazing it doesn't leave your hair crunchy at all like you can just spray it I always will just like hold my hair up and spray it into the bottom of my hair like the ends of my hair and it just gives me texture and a tiny bit of hold but it doesn't make my hair feel crunchy or anything like that and it smells so good it smells like i don't even know like cotton candy and i don't like flowers it smells so good like there have been days where i didn't put perfume on but i had this in my hair and people were asking me what perfume i wore so this stuff is amazing and it smells really really good Moving on to fashion pieces, I did want to show you guys things that I wore on Instagram because I get a lot of questions there. So here I can actually show you a little bit more about them and also directly link them if you guys are interested in them. And the first one is this big oversized sweater. You guys know I love oversized sweaters and I love anything neutral. And this is so perfect for like fall and winter time. This one is from She Inside and it does say that it is one size fits all. And for me, I am only five foot tall. It is pretty baggy and big on me, which I don't mind. As long as I wear something really fitted underneath it, then I don't care. I love baggy sweaters. But I think this is just so cute and cozy and easy to throw on. So I've really been loving this. I will wear this with like a pair of destroyed jeans or I will even wear it with leather leggings and it looks super cute. So I love cozy sweaters like this. Another thing I've actually worn, I think twice on Instagram, is this faux leather jacket. And I just love it, it's super edgy. And I wore it um, a couple of times with, one was just like an all black outfit and then like an easy scarf, such an easy outfit, literally just threw it on. And then another one was with these pants that I'm gonna show you in just a second. But yeah, it's just so easy to throw on and it looks like you like actually put some effort into it. Like I can throw this on with jeans, a white t-shirt, throw on a scarf and you look put together. So I love jackets like this and I love that this one's a little bit more edgy. 
These have to be one of my favorite buys for this fall and they are these like jogger type pants. They don't actually come to like an elastic bottom but they definitely are more tapered and I have to cuff mine a few times because I'm so short. But these are from Old Navy and I have them in maroon and then I also have a mustard color. I've worn both on Instagram and I just love them. I do have mine in an extra small. I feel like these always end up looking like kind of saggy after about a couple hours. So maybe go down a size because I usually wear just a small. But I do have these in extra small and I just love them. They're super, super comfy. And if you wear them with like a cute pair of booties and a cute sweater, then you can be really, really comfortable and still look cute. Next is a super cute sweater. It says dream, believe, achieve. And this one is a very lightweight sweater. It's not gonna keep you super warm. And I do always end up cuffing the sleeves. I just feel like everything looks cuter that way. And I wore them with the mustard pants that look just like those maroon ones on Instagram. And I just really like it. And I think next time I'm gonna wear it with like a red plaid underneath. I think that would look super cute with a red plaid. So yeah, I love this sweater. I think it's just so easy. I love easy pieces. Like every single thing that I've shown you so far, you can mix and match and have really cute outfits and they're all easy and they're not too complicated. And they're just easy to throw on in the morning and still look cute when you head out the door. So the last thing I'm gonna show you guys is a pair of jeans. And these are some of the jeans that I wear all the time on Instagram because I've just fallen in love with them. They're super flattering on me and I just love them. They look really nice and they aren't crazy expensive. I think they all run around 50 bucks. And these are from the brand Cello. These I always get questions on whenever I wear them. These ones um, have like a little destroyed part on the knee here and then they just cuff on the bottom and a little bit of like distressing right here. And these are my favorite pair of jeans. They're super comfortable. They do have some stretch in them, but they're not like super stretchy where they're gonna be saggy in a couple of hours. And I think I have mine in a three. Yeah, these are a three and they just fit so well. Like they're just a very flattering jean. So I will have these listed below. You can get these um, from Flutter Newberg. I always have them on my Instagram and stuff and these you can order directly from them. So I will definitely have them linked for you guys because I always, always get questions about these. And that wraps up my current favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe found something that you wanna try out. Let me know what you guys have been loving in the comments below and my next favorites video will be my favorites of the whole year which is so crazy. Another year has already gone by. So let me know what you guys have been loving and I will talk to you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.